helpful. I'm still in the library. I think Dr. Romano's in there. I hope he doesn't mind me disturbing him again, but I gotta see if he's up to something else that can help me get that 30 on the dad. Oh, Dr. Romano. Hi, Dr. Romano. You know, I'm really working hard to get a 30 on my dad exam, so I wanted to see what you were up to. Okay, I'm gonna do a general chemistry problem. That'll be very demonstrative of what you're gonna see on the actual dad exam. Oh, so let's get right down to it. We have 15 grams of ethane reacts with excess oxygen to form CO2 and water. How many grams of CO2 is produced? The first thing we have to do in a problem like this is to write the equation if they don't do it for us. So let's take C2H6, we're gonna add oxygen, and we are gonna form CO2 and water. Okay, easy enough. Now we always wanna make sure the equation is balanced. Two carbons on the left side, and therefore I put a two on the right side to balance the carbons. There are six hydrogens on the left side, and therefore I need to put a three on the right side because three times two is six hydrogens now on, the, on that side. Now, on the right side, there's two times two is four O's, and then three more gives you seven. You have seven oxygens on the right, so on the left side, you need seven oxygens. So to balance this, I'm going to need three and a half because three and a half times two is seven. I know a lot of teachers say not to use a fraction. Bullshit, fraction is perfectly fine. Okay. So what we're gonna do is now that we got the equation balanced, we're gonna simply take 15 grams, right to given, of C2H6. I'm gonna first convert it into moles, so I'm gonna put a little dot, and I'm gonna just do dimensional analysis. Now, one mole, one mole of the C2H6 gives me 30 grams and that counts out the grams. Now, keep on going. We're gonna look at the stoichiometry. There is one mole of ethane and there's two moles of CO2. So I'm gonna put the same word on the bottom, moles of C2H6. There is one mole of C2H6 for every two moles produced of CO2. That cancels out moles of ethane. And then the final step, we have moles of CO2 here we have grams of CO2. You look up the weight, it weighs 44 grams in a mole, and that cancels out. So what we're left with is we're left with 15 over 30. Well, 15 over, let's put it like this. We have a 15, we have a two, we have a 44, and we have a 30. Hopefully you can see how these numbers are gonna drop out. Absolutely wonderful. 15 times two is 30, so you have 30 on the top, 30 on the bottom, and you are left with the final answer of 44 grams. I hope that gives wow, you- Dr. Romano. A, I hope that gives you a good idea of how to do a problem like this. Remember on the deck, they may or may not give you a balanced equation. You might have to balance it, but the numbers certainly are gonna work out really straightforward and really easy. So this is giving you a good idea of what to do on the deck. Okay, Dr. Romano, we've all been waiting. I think you're going to come out with a little bit of a, a guide, something for the uh, Gen Chem and the Orgo. Yes, I have a nice study guide, since kids seem to like study guides. Um, I'll have a nice study guide to give you good direction of, and all the formulas you're going to need to know for the day. So leave it to me, I'll have that out very shortly for you. But in the meantime, keep banging away at all the problems in the destroyer, we're on the right track. Okay, Dr. Roman, I'm going for that 30. Okay, good day to you. Okay, good day to you, sir. Ta-da.